Hi, right, good morning, welcome back. Now, time to change the oil on my big Triumph Trophy. I do sufficient mileage on this bike to change the oil twice a year, believe it or not. And I like to make sure I do it at the beginning of winter, coming into the cold months where you build up all that condensation inside the engine and then get rid of that in the spring with some fresh oil about the end of March. So today, it's the end of October. Let's drain it out, change the filter, top it up, and I'm ready to go for the winter months ahead. <laughs> Right, a little tip if you're going to do this yourself. These little skinny O-rings that you replace when you change the cartridge filter, they're not like the big fat square ones that go in a canister. These things can fall out of place when you're installing it. They fit into a very shallow track in the filter plate. So when you put them in, if you smear some grease on them, rather than new engine oil, they get sticky. And then when you put them in place, they stick into the little track that they live in and won't become dislodged when you fit them onto the engine.
Right, and there you have it. Now, with the current cost of living issues at the moment, then doing something like this yourself can save you an awful lot of money. I would imagine maybe three quarters of the overall bill with your local dealership is gonna be labor alone. That's just the way they have to charge. They have to run the business. There's nothing wrong with that, but you can do it yourself. Maybe a quarter of that overall bill is the oil and the filter. Other than that, all you need is some basic tools, a manual and an hour or so of your life. And you can do it at home and keep your bike maintained in these difficult financial times. So there we go. Take it easy, ride safe. And I'll see you next time.